morning and jai hind students i am kanchan your english teacher this time i have taken the chapter landscape of the soul by nathali and this chapter is totally based on the difference between uh, the art of chinese and european means be between chinese and european arts these present a study in contrast the chinese paintings are not as realistic as and perfect as european paintings are a classical chinese landscape does not produce the actual view it can be entered from any point the viewer is free to travel up and down and uh, in european art the viewer has to borrow the eye of the painter to look at the landscape so the the scene creates an illusion of likeness with reality the, this idea has been illustrated through stories so in this chapter many stories are here you will you will learn first we will discuss about these expressions uh, which have been given anecdote means short events or stories delicate realism ka matlab hota hai close similarity to real object means uh, to to real object figurative paintings means means flowery drawings means flowery drawings means just uh, like symbol and illusionistic likeness means this is here means creating an illusion means not not just like the the same ya yeah, kuch something that is that is not uh, not related with reality jisko bhram keh sakte hain that is illusion that is not reality conceptual space space means the space of for imagination so here we will read about the stories so here a wonderful old tale tale means story is about about a chinese a chinese painter whose name was wu daozi and uh, he who lived in the 8th century jo ki 8th century mein rehta tha his last painting was a landscape commissioned by by the means his emperor had ordered him to make a painting beautiful painting so that he could decorate the uh, wall of his palace wo apne palace ka wall ko decorate kar sakta tha and the emperor was juan jong so the master had hidden the his work behind a screen usne screen ke piche chhipa diya tha painting ko so that the only only so that only the emperor could see that so uh, discovering forest high mountains waterfalls cloud floating in an immense sky men and hilly paths birds in flight look sir said the painter painter ne kaha look sir in this cave at the foot of the mountain dwells a spirit ek spirit rehti hai the plant painter then clapped his hands and the entrance entrance of the cave opened and the inside is is splendid beyond anything words can convey and he said ki inside view the beauty of the the beauty of inside uh, in the internal part inside uh, cannot be cannot be described the inside is splendid splendid means very nice beyond anything words can convey please let me show your majesty the way मुझे रास्ता दिखाने दीजिए आपको द पेंटर एंटर द केव बट द एंट्रेंस क्लोज बिहाइंड हिम एज सुन एज ही एंटर इन टू द केव इन द पेंटिंग ही डिसपियर्ड मीन्स ये जो वो डाउजी हैं ये गायब हो गए जैसे ही इन्होंने अंदर पेंटिंग के अंदर बने गुफा में पैर रखा ये गायब हो गए एंड ऑल्सो विद हिम हिज पेंट एंड ब्रश इट वॉज ऑल्सो डिसपियर्ड नथिंग वॉज लेफ्ट देयर एंड द आर्टिस्ट वॉज नेवर सीन अगेन इन दिस वर्ल्ड सेकेंड स्टोरी इज हेयर सच स्टोरी इज प्लेड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन चाइनाज क्लासिकल एजुकेशन एजुकेशन द बुक्स ऑफ कन्फ्यूशियस एंड जुआन जी सो जुआंग जी और कन्फ्यूशियस की स्टोरी में इस तरह की स्टोरीज मिलती हैं एंड दे हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड विच आर्ट वॉज art was considered so it was considered as art then contrast the story this story uh, another famous story is here a painter who would not draw the eye of a dragon he had painted because he had fear that after making this painting if he would make eyes then the dragon would 
वुड फ्लाई अवे एंड देन ड्यू टू दैट फियर उस पेंटर ने उस ड्रैगन की आइज ही नहीं बनाई थी सो हेयर ड्रैगन सार हेयर एंड उसने ड्रैगन को तो बनाया बट ड्रैगन की आइज नहीं बनाई ये सोच करके कि जो ड्रैगन है वो उड़ जाएगा सो दिस वॉज बिलीव एंड इन फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी आंट रेप देर इज अनदर स्टोरी अ मास्टर ब्लैक स्मिथ उसका नाम था क्वेंटिन एंड ही फेल इन लव विद अ पेंटर्स डॉटर और जो फादर थे मीन्स डॉटर के जो फाद मीन्स वो उसके जो फादर थे ही डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट दैट ब्लैक स्मिथ एज हिज सन इन लॉ उसको एज हिज सन लॉ नहीं पसंद करते थे बिकॉज द पेंटर डिड नॉट लाइक हिज अकुपेशन एज ही वॉज अ ब्लैक स्मिथ सो ही डिड नॉट लाइक सो क्वेंटिन स्नेक्ड इन टू द पेंटर्स स्टूडियो सो क्वेंटिन he uh, quietly he went entered into his studio and usne ek with with such delicate realism he made a fly usne ek fly banayi ek makhi banayi that was just like a real fly and that the master tried to swat it away usne usko udana chaha but he could not because it was just like a real uh, fly but it was not a real fly actually it was only a painting so he was impressed with the black smith quentin and he was agree to uh, marry uh, his daughter with quentin and he uh, married his daughter and he also kept him with him uh, kept him with him uh, in his studio to uh, give company and to train him so ye story hai and in the chinese story the emperor commission uh, commissions a painting and appreci- appreciates uh, its outer appearances but appearance but the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work matlab jo usko jo viewer hai usko apne hisab se nahi dekhna hota tha matlab he had to take help of the painter the the european the emperor may rule over the territory wo territory par rule kar sakta tha but how could he know the painting what actually had been revealed in this painting a classical chinese landscape is not meant to reproduce an actual view or classical landscape wo uh, they did they uh, don't present the actual view and uh, then as would a western figurative painting whereas the european painter wants you to borrow his eyes european painter chahta hai ki aap uski nigah se dekhiye at a particular landscape exactly wants you to borrow his eyes and from a specific angle the chinese painter does not choose a single view point his landscape is not a real one it is artistic it is it is not it is illusion you can see it is not real and you can enter enter it uh, from any point aap kisi bhi taraf se isme enter ho sakte ho means it is not the reality is totally based on illusion so chinese painter does not choose a single view point his landscape is not a real one and you can enter it from any point then travel in it the artist creates a path for your eyes to travel means the artist they create a way that you can see the painting then back again in a leisurely moment this is even more true in the case of the horizontal scroll in which the action of slowly opening one section of the painting then rolling it up to move on to the other adds a dimension of time which is unknown in any other from uh, form of painting it also requires the active participation of the viewer who decides at what pace he will travel so a participation which is physically physical as well as mental the chinese painter does not want you to borrow his view you to enter his mind the landscape is an inner one inner one a spiritual and conceptual space so it is here means uh, you have to uh, take help of that painter in this way he will help you means uh, but but chinese painter does not want कि आप उसकी आँखों का हेल्प लें एंड ही वांट्स 
कि आप उसके दिमाग में प्रवेश करें मीन्स यू हैव टू एंटर इन टू हिज माइंड एंड मीन्स यू हैव टू सी द पेंटिंग बाई बाई एंटरिंग इन टू हिज माइंड वट डज ही वॉन्ट वट डज ही थिंक सो दिस इज इंटरनल पार्ट ऑफ माइंड नेक्स्ट इज हेयर द कंसेप्ट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड एज सेंक्शुई सो हेयर वट इज सेंक्शुई सो हेयर सेंक्शुई मीन्स माउंटेन एंड वाटर सो द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ सेंक्शुई इज माउंटेन वाटर एंड दीज टू वर्ड्स रिप्रेजेंट द वर्ल्ड लैंडस्केप माउंटेन एंड वाटर आर लाइक टू पोल्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू ईच अदर दीज रिफ्लेक्ट्स द डाउजिस्ट व्यू ऑफ द यूनिवर्स द माउंटेन यंग इज माउंटेन इज यंग इज वर्टिकल एंड वाम एंड स्टेबल माउंटेन इज यंग एंड ही इट इज वर्टिकल वाम एंड स्टेबल एंड इट इज मैस्कुलिन वाटर इज यन इट लाइज हॉरिजेंटली लाइक अ फीमेल द टू इंटरेक्ट इन द मिडिल वाइट और द अनपेंटेड वाइट स्पेस इन चाइनीज लैंडस्केप मैन इज द मैन इज द कंडक्ट और मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन हेवन एंड अर्थ सो हेयर इन दिस इज हेयर द कंसेप्ट इज दैट माउंटेन इज यंग एंड इट इज वर्टिकल इट इज स्टेबल इट इज वॉम and the water is yin it is horizontal and resting on the earth both are for this world and uh, means yang is masculine and the water is feminine so this can be compared with the yogic practice of pranayama breath in and breath out the suspension of breath is the void where meditation occurs the middle void is essential nothing can happen without it so hence the importance of the white unpainted space in chinese landscape so here outside art is outside art and now the, this is also where man finds a fundamental role in the in that space between heaven and earth he becomes the conduit of communication between both poles of the universe his presence is essential even if it is only suggested far from being lost or oppressed by the lofty peaks he is in france uh, francois a uh, change is wonderful expression change change is expression wonderful expression the eye of the landscape so yahan pe ye uh, this is this is the place where where uh, masculine is main and heaven and earth there is time there is there is uh, difference between between heaven and earth and here human beings are between two poles and then this world becomes a medium this becomes this uh, becomes medium getting inside outside art so it means it means outside art is raw in its form it is the product of a genius who however has got no formal training such artists have no right to call themselves artist yet they survive on the basis of their talent anything and everything could be material for this work of art thus it is it is totally different from the concept of traditional art the rock garden created by nick chan at changriha is the best example of raw art so here it is about this uh, when french painter jean de buffel uh, mooted the concept of art and proof in the 1900 in uh, 40s the art of the untrained visionary was the minority interest and this genre is de described as the art so this is about outsider art now recycled materials rock garden sculpture made of broken here uh, rock material uh, is known to the world today as the rock garden at chandigarh and in 18 years old creator director nick chan is now hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art the 15th 50th issue 
Spring 2005 of Raw Vision, UK based magazine Pioneer in Outsider. Then the notion, notion means idea of art good or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural. It means Nick Chand has taken to dizzying height recognizing this his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream. The Swiss Commission for UNESCO will be honoring him by way of a European exposition of his work. The five mouth interview show Realm of Nick Chan beginning October will be held at leading uh, museums in Switzerland, Belgium, France and Italy. The biggest reward is walking through the uh, see, seeing people enjoy my creation, new chances. So here in this story, जो uh, 18 years नेक चंद जो आज विश्व की सबसे बड़ी कला की देन उनको माना जाता है. So यहाँ पे uh, means painting or art that is not perfect, that is uh, not uh, not matured, वो uh, है and then uh, they can make anything in a very uh, very good way जैसे कोई लोहे का टिन हो अथवा चीनी मिट्टी का हो अगर टूटी फूटी का उसको एक 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 uh, एक पेंटिंग के थ्रू बनाया जा सकता है या फिर उसको बहुत अच्छी तरह से हम उसको नया चीज उससे बना सकते हैं इट मींस कि वी हैव टू बी क्रिएटिविटी एंड वी हैव टू सी द दिस वर्ल्ड विद आर एंड आईज हैविंग क्रिएटिविटी so this is here in this story we have to uh, we have to differentiate art and we have to come to what know what actually has been given in the uh, in art and we can see here how stones have been made in a beautiful creation so this is about this chapter is about art and creation and about paintings of european asian chinese there uh, it has been described here thank you and jai hind